Okay, so it's evening time right now, and you can see these are the standard lights that come in the van, and these are the upgraded ones I've just put in. So it does make a massive difference, and it's not even fully dark yet. So when it is fully dark and I'm stuck on a job late at night, this will definitely help. So there's two switches controlling these lights. You've got one at the back of the van here, and you've also got one on the side of the van at the top. So whether I go in from the side or the back of the van, I'll always better turn on the lights. So these are the LED strips here. Now mine are just normal white. I think you can get different colors such as green, blue, or ones that even change color of a remote. That's way too fancy for what I need. I just need something to go from here to about there so I can see in the nighttime better. So the first thing we need to do is remove this plastic trim along the top here because we need to run cables. So in terms of how we're gonna remove that, we're just gonna use a flathead, pull up this little flat bit, and then these should just pull out. So here's a better example, use a flathead, pull it down and the whole thing just pops out like that. So for my van, I've just got one final screw here and then that's the last thing holding in this first piece of trim. So now I'm just going to make my way down the whole of this plastic trim, removing all these plastic fixings and once they're out, this whole trim should come out. So we've got the famous Dr. Gas helping me out this video, he's already done this in his van so he knows what he's doing. So he's helping me take off this plastic trim. Front seat. It'll be in a separate box. So now we can see the whole route we're gonna take for this cable. So we're gonna go all the way to the back here. We're gonna be using this two core cable. I bought about six meters of it. And where we're going to run it from is this fuse box right here. In here, that's the fuse box. So we're going to run a cable. Through here, up. Through here. Here. And then through, it's gonna come out the other side. It's gonna come, if you look, it's gonna come out above here. And then it's gonna run through this trunk in. Is it? Yeah. Hold it down. See if you can see where the existing cable is. It's gonna feed it through with that. So that's the cable pulled through the back of the van. It's gonna take that route with the other cables. And I have pulled it quite long because it's always nice to have more than less. Now in terms of the front, we're pulling this down and you can use a little tool, which we're about to use now to make it a little bit easier. Kind of. Just pull this out. Slightly. And we should now be able to feed this. One second. Let me see what this is. Oh. do feed this down. Can I see it here? So that's the cable fully pulled through here for the fuse box. Now in terms of the cable that runs through the top, I'm just going to slip it in these little clips here. So then when it does go back together, the cable isn't getting pinched by anything. So now that cable is run and put away properly, we can put back this plastic trim. In terms of putting the trim back, really simple. That small hole is going to line up with that plastic peg. Thing. 
Next, I'm going to use one of these bits to drill a hole into the plastic for the switch. Just to start it, be careful because obviously there's cables under there. So we drilled a hole, but it's just too small. So we're going to take it to the next size and then hopefully the button should fit them. And that's going to be a perfect fit. So then we're going to take that cable that we ran from the fuse box and push it through that hole. Then we're going to put another piece of cable in that hole and that's going to get ran to the back of the van. So we're going to drop down here, which is about where you want the switch. Now I'm going to be using both of these holes here. This top one's going to be for the ground connection and the bottom one is going to be where the switch is going to go. And that's a perfect fit for the button I've got. So now we're going to feed the cable through and try pull it out through that bottom hole. And that's it, it's through. So we've got a little mold kit here and we're trying to figure out what terminal fits this little switch here. Basically, you have to proper push it on. That's the same side. This particular kit, it has these things mm -hmm. that technically work as a sleeve. So it will cover the whole connection. And now we're going to strip back this cable. So the cable that goes from the fuse box to here, we only need the red cable. So we're also going to cut off the black. Okay, so this is our live cable coming from the fuse box. Now what we're going to do is put this protective sleeving on. Then we're going to get the terminal. And we're going to use our wire cutters to crimp that on. So you'll notice that if you look really closely, if we've used these before, there's two things you can crimp. So the first one, which we're crimping now, is actually crimping the cable to make the connection, the actual strands. And then the second place you can crimp is to crimp the cable so it doesn't move. I don't know if that makes sense while I'm describing it, but when I show you a close-up, you might see it better. So this live cable from the fuse box is going to go into the middle on this on-on switch. So like I said, from the fuse box, we're only going to use one cable, which is the red cable. Now the cable that goes from this switch to the switch in the back door of the van, we're going to be using both cables. So in terms of how we crimped this terminal one, we're going to do that the same for those two cables. So now in terms of the switch on the side of the van, we're going to put that red cable, the live cable that comes from the fuse box in the middle, like I said. And then we're going to get the red cable that runs to the back of the van. That's going to go on terminal one and the black cable that goes to the back of the van, that's going to go on terminal three. Just going to tape it just to extra. We'll just go in OTT just to make sure nothing comes apart. And then we can shove that switch in this hole. What we'll do, we'll just do it like that and we won't do it too tight at the moment. Then you can tighten it up after. We'll get the, the right size and we can cut it all. So this is the cable that we ran to the back of the van before. Now what we need to do is get another cable and run it up here because that's where we're going to attach the lights. So that's that cable through, exactly the same process. We fished it through, used long nose pliers to pull it through and that's the second cable. So that second cable I've split into two now and this black cable is going to go through that top hole and then that's going to be our ground. So then the other side of that cable, we're going to run along the top here and then this is where we're going to connect our lights. Our connections are going to be up here. So that same crimping process we done for the terminals on the side of the van, we're going to do here. So I won't show that whole process again because you've already seen it. You can get easier crimps by the way, you can get ones that literally just slot on and crimp. You ain't got to deal with all the little fiddliness. So it just depends on the set you get. 
unfortunately we had this one that is a little bit more complex but we still may do so that's our ground cable now which we're going to attach to the side of the van so what we're going to do is we're going to slot it in use a self-tapping screw and screw it to the body of the van but before we attach it we're just going to try scratch off some of this paint because it actually needs to be in contact with the metal so scratch it all off get it back to the bare metal and then we can attach it and that's the ground all done so now we need to put on our terminals for the two cables that come from the first switch that's on the side of the van and that's them all done so this red cable is going to be the one that's going to connect to the lights at the back of the van then these two cables are the ones coming from the side of the van so i said that black went to terminal three and red went to terminal one so we're going to match them the same on this side And now we can push this button in its hole. So in terms of connecting the light to the fuse box now, in terms of knowing which one to connect to, you're going to get a multimeter, put one on the ground of the van and put one on the fuse. And you're looking for the fuse that has 12 volts DC while the van is off. So for example, that fuse we just checked didn't have 12 volts DC with the van off. So when we check the next one, we get, there you go. This one's got 12 volts DC. So that'll be the one that we're going to connect into. Cool. That's the fuse we want to take out there. So now we know which fuse we're going to connect into. We're going to get our piggyback fuse holder, whatever you want to call it and connect it to that red cable we ran from the side of the van. Give it a tug, wait for it ain't coming up. Mm -hmm. Is the existing fuse of what you're tapping into, and then this fuse on the outside is the fuse for your circuit. So now the fuse is in, let's test it. Do your side. Yeah, I'll just do it. Do it again. You turn it off and then I'll do it at the same time. So now all the cables are run and done, I can start adding my lights. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take the red cable hanging from the ceiling and join it to the red cable coming from the light and then join the black cable from the ceiling to the black cable on the light. Now, if you bought a really long light that's maybe four, five, six meters and you're not doing individual lights, then this is pretty much you done in terms of wiring. You're just gonna drain these two cables and then that's you done. But for me, because I made the mistake of ordering six one meters, not six meters, um, I'm gonna have to join individual lights together and I'll show you how we're gonna do that. So we're joining these cables together and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna crimp them and then we're gonna join them together using terminals. What that will now do is it will click once we do that one as well, we'll click, connect the live and the neutral, the live and ground, whatever. Then it will allow us to go like this. And extend this cable to your next one. And then your next one. Basically. So that's the first light all done. And then I'm going to use some CT1 to stick it to the top of the band. 
if you want to hide the cables completely, if you do, then this one needs to go back there. Okay, stick it. So that's that first light stuck now, and you can see we joined it together with the second light using the crimp terminals. Now we just need to put some CT1 on the second light and stick it. So this is just a close up of the crimp terminals we're using. So obviously to join them together, one's gonna be male and the other's gonna be female. And we're now joining the third light onto the second light. So now they're all looped together and they should all work together. So we've stuck all the lights to the ceiling using CT1 like I did on the first light. And in terms of the cables, we've cable tied them all to their trunking at the back. And yeah, it's looking pretty good. Just use a bit of duct tape to stick it to the ceiling so it can dry overnight. And tomorrow I should be able to take that tape off. So in terms of putting the plastic trim back, really simple. You can see that there's the holes on the actual frame of the van and then there's holes on the plastic trim. So use those little plug things, push them in and it will stay in place. But you get to see me being weak here, not being able to do it for a second, but I get it on. And now you can see, all done. And there you go, it was like nothing, it was even taken apart. So everything back together, lights are connected, and I'm just testing the back switch. It's looking great. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. And if you are looking to do something similar to your van, I hope it helped. I'll try to put all the links in the description. But just make sure when you order the lights, you actually order six meters of one LED and you don't order in six individual one meters like I did. In my case, it didn't work out too bad, but I think it would have been best if I did have six meters running around the whole of the back of the van. But it is what it is. So yeah, if you do want to get any type of boiler training, links in the description as well. There's a component sheet sheets, diagnosing, servicing cheat sheets wiring diagrams all of the back of the van videos in there so i will see you in the next video